While in New York, we ran into the Carl Rove of four administrations. David Gergen, top presidential advisor to Ford, Reagan, George Herbert Walker Bush, and Bill Clinton. We couldn't believe our luck. It just so happens that David Gergen is also a prominent member of the Bohemian Grove, the offshoot of Skull and Bones. This insider of insiders, a staple of the White House for 22 years, got very upset when we brought up Bohemian Grove to him. He didn't deny its existence. He didn't deny that he was a member. He didn't deny the rituals. He just became angry and didn't act very gentlemanly. The real wild card here are the demonstrators. We just don't know where this is going to go. There's a, while they were peaceful those days, there's a lot more anger among those demonstrators than is evident. You talk to them today, they're pretty angry people. So that's the big wild card. Hey, Mr. Gergen, can we talk to you for a second? Uh, where are you from? I'm Alex Jones. I have a TV show in Austin. I make documentaries. Tell me just a few questions about the convention. Yeah, well, is there a camera or are you? Yeah, right there, just about, yeah, but I just want to get your permission first. Here. Okay, okay, just, it's looking like I've, I've got... No, I understand, just about a minute or two. Okay, great. We're talking to David Gergen, and he has advised several presidents and, of course, has uh, written quite a few uh, books and uh, is a, I would call you a political pundit or researcher. Okay. Commentary at Over the Hill, whatever. Okay. Uh, how long have you been in New York? About six, four hours. What do you think of this circus? Well, I haven't seen all the protests yet, but I've never seen as much security for a convention as we have here. And it's, uh, uh, you know, the city's uh, almost closed down. I think it's remarkable. I think it's an unfortunate turn for politics that we have to have this many police around. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, news articles and reports saying that there's a heightened risk of terror attacks. Uh, do you think that that's, uh, do you think there's a chance of that? Or? I think, well, listen, they just arrested, uh, I think, or broken up some plot uh, allegedly to... Uh, Somebody wanted to blow up subways. Yeah, I think it's very real danger. And you've got the Madison Square Garden is sitting right, you know, basically on top of a uh, train station, and Boston uh, Convention was right on top of a train station. Yeah, I just have to remember that trains are very uh, accessible, vulnerable, and that's what happened in Spain. They went after trains and they blew some trains up, so, and it wasn't very expensive. So I think there's that danger, but I think the police are on top of it. They're treating this as a special security event, which means there's a not only the, 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 the obvious police around, but believe me, there's a lot of private stuff going on here. Okay, one last question. I read a Washington Times article many years ago where you had a comment about the organization, and then now it's been in the Wall Street Journal, it's been in a lot of different newspapers, and that's the Bohemian Grove. And back in, what was it, 1996 when you joined uh, as a Clinton advisor, they were the Republicans were criticizing you, oh, what about Bohemian Grove, and then you counter them. Uh, and then you countered them by saying, hey, I don't run around in the woods naked. What did that mean? Here is the before-mentioned Washington Times article where he said, I didn't run around naked like they do. I, I, don't, I, don't, know what, I don't know what quote you're referring to. I'm not aware of any quote like that. Uh, listen, uh, uh, I am a, a, a happy member of the Bohemian Grove. I like the, the folks who come there. And uh, it's really inappropriate for me to uh, talk about a, uh, uh, the group beyond that. Have you been there for the ceremony with uh, the cremation of care? Uh, frankly, that's, uh, that, uh, I don't think that's something I need to talk to you about. Have you been there for the ceremony with uh, the cremation of care? Uh, frankly, that's, uh, that, uh, I don't think that's something I need to talk to you about. Really? That's right. Well, I'm Alex Jones, and I snuck in there in 2000. I'm the guy that blew it wide open and got the video. It's been on national TV. Well, I disrespect you for that. You do? I do. But it's a lot of big public officials going in there. You don't we deserve to know? You, you took an under I don't know anything about you, and I don't know anything about your film. But if you go in there with an understanding, you violated that understanding by releasing that film, and I don't respect you for that. Really? But you we have public officials. You, there I'm sorry. You public. took an understanding when you went in there that you would not do that film. And you did, did you have an understanding when you went in there? No. Did you crash it? Yes. Yeah, and it has no trespassing signs there, too, doesn't it? No, they put them yes, up after. Oh, I'm I sorry. Just walked in. I'm sorry, sir. I've been there before. I know what, I know what the circumstances are, and I'm sorry you uh, violated the understandings. That was, not, that was not a gentlemanly thing to do. But what about the ritual? Is the ritual gentlemanly? <laughs> oh. 
sir. Everything. You, I, I, don't, I don't owe you this comment. Oh, no, I appreciate it. You, you, you have, you, this is what's called ambush journalism, and I disrespect you for that as well. So thank have you, you ever and goodbye. Have you the ritual? That's none of your damn business. Oh. That's right. Listen, oh. listen. You go around and, and make understandings with people and violate them. You, you ambush people on the streets, and that's, that's inappropriate form of journalism. If you wish to practice that, that's fine, but don't ask others to respect you for it. If you, want to, you, you can do it. You're a free American like anything you want. If you want to be uncivil and rude and ungentlemanly, that's up to you. But don't expect the rest well, of us to say, oh, well, you're there, Mr. Gergen. I'm sorry. Nobody says policy in there. We try to be gentlemen, and obviously you don't belong there. Weaving spiders come out here? <laughs> yeah, that is a three-pointer. Woo! Ha-ha. <laughs> Boy, I hit the hot button. Mr. Gergen, have a wonderful life. Say hi to Moloch for me, Canaanite deity, and I'll see you at Eyes Wide Shut, baby. Bye-bye. Get his face. Get his face. Get his face. Get his face. Get in there and get his face. David Gergen. David Gergen says that we're angry? The real wild card here are the demonstrators. We just don't know where this is going to go. There's a, while they were peaceful today, there's a lot more anger among those demonstrators than it is evident. You talk to them today, they're pretty angry people. So that's the big wild card. Thank you, you ever and goodbye. The ritual? That's none of your damn business. That's none of your damn business. Oh. That's right. Listen. Oh. Listen. Just look at him. That's a face keeping a lot of secrets. He's got some stories to tell. And remember that Washington Times article? It talked about all the other organizations that he resigned from. It mentions the Trilateral Commission, the Council on Foreign Relations, all of them groups dedicated to setting up a world government and destroying American sovereignty.